Today was 11 September, a day that we'll all remember. 19 hijackers had their way, used box cutters to control their planes. One to PA, another the Pentagon, two in the skyscrapers, four in all. Buildings came down, we're all shocked, America's no longer a solid rock. Oh, Bin Laden, it had to be him that turned the states into something dim. Made us all think he's a Vader Zim, came to the homeland to attack from within. But I have to say, I confess, after sorting out all this mess, there are some questions that are answered. At least, the iron wrinkles out of this dress. Ten years, I let go by, then the evidence caught my eye. Now I ask questions and listen to experts and analyze evidence and think for once. Here are the points that you dread, you need to get it in your head. There's over 2,000 dead, or at least that's what your government said. Came straight down like Satan in the hell, but here's the thing, people don't know, seven went down, floor by floor, said the damage was too great, too much life had been taken that day, four was the term that was used, which had to be your first clue, three, four, five, and six, had so much more that had to be fixed, controlled demolition is a conclusion, and that's a theory I stick with, bombs and explosions going off everywhere, save the people that were there, crazy we don't even stop to listen, it's like we're asleep and we don't really care. Can't forget Pentagon Monto clean. Only the coal fills the scene, the side of the wall. Can't compare the other two, they look like tears. More consistency, fake investigation, see? No account for the thermite that was found on the site. It makes me want to cry out. I need to scream and shout. A year before, we got the P for a new American century. Milky Mirato to the extreme, set out to occupy every country. He said the change would take too long unless a new Pearl Harbor came along. Thirteen days later, we got the Patriot Act, and now America's a fascist piece of crap. Here's the thing, you can't ignore and dismiss this. All these things should be at the top of your list. Just look at all the evidence of the past, and all the things been done by the upper class. Here's something else that should catch your eye. The Pentagon hijacker couldn't even fly. Barely got through flight school. How did he fly a path that's not meant for fools? Another has passport found. The but the black box wasn't around. No, I guess. Paper doesn't burn and flying out of pockets is what paper learns. Back to towers one and two. But I have to give you even more clues. Buildings were made out of concrete and steel. And here's why the pancake pan can't be real. Acceleration was not present. And only enough, they fell like seven. Yo, what if I should just fall inside so it's like that? And that's not all, there's always something more. Even Bush's story is a little fishy. He supposedly saw the first plane on TV, but went to class and said safety was told he couldn't even see it coming. At this point, it seems to me that there's more to the story than it seems. Now's not the time for conspiracies. I'm just sick and tired of government lies, you see? I won't forget and I won't forgive the government's sin and a half year myth. But another question, why would they do it? The answer is a new Gulf of Trunk. And you ever heard of a false flag operation? A way to go to war and take over the nation. Warmongers get rich while the people pay their debts and the shit's gotta go, says a man named Fresco. Time to end the lies and have the truth, yo. Time to go and reclaim humanity. So here's my point. Listen to my plea. You can no longer be fooled by this hypocrisy. From this we must flee. Do your own research because it's the truth that sets us free.